Hello, it's Andrea. Um, some days I'm having a great hair day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, wow, I'm having a really great hair day today. It looks flawless. Other days it's not like that. My hair is a hot mess and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Luckily, I've spent a lot of years trying to figure out how to get perfect hair. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of awesome hacks that you could use to help you get perfect hair. And a lot of them I use myself. Also, I'm doing a massive giveaway for three people. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, of course, following me on Instagram, and comment anything that you want down below in the comment section. Now, for the hair hacks. So do you ever like put your hair in a ponytail or a bun and you feel like your forehead just increased by like 40%? That happens to me all the time. Or sometimes I just feel like it looks large in general. I think a big forehead is pretty, but sometimes I want to shrink it down a bit. So I get some eyeshadow that matches the roots of my hair. And I just go ahead and I lightly dust naturally around the hairline where it's a little bit thinner. And this immediately gives you the illusion of a smaller forehead. I do it all the time. Major key. My diffuser, oh, what more can I say? I mean, it's been there for me, you know? Um, I have curly hair, I can't really live without it. And we have a special bond. The only problem is I lose these a lot. If you lose your attachment, here's a backup plan. Go into your kitchen and grab one of these. It's a colander. Make sure it has holes big enough so that air can flow in and out properly. And you can use this as a replacement until you get a new blow dryer with a diffuser attachment. Or you can just use this from now on. I don't know, sometimes I actually like it better. I'm just saying. <laughs> Now, if you have the hair type that's really, really slippery, like whenever you put a hair tie in, slips right out, put a clip in, it slips right out, a little trick you can do is get a glue gun. Take your clip and then go ahead and glue inside of the little claws just a little bit. What that's gonna do is give you some extra grip. This way, when you put the clip in your hair, it won't slip out. Sometimes my hair is just dull and flat or my curls aren't curling up the right way and I don't know why, but I realized why. It's because I have way too much product built up on my hair, like oils, heavy conditioners, serums, and it's just weighing my hair down. So I need to wash my hair like once a week or once every other week with a clarifying shampoo. But if you don't have one, you can totally make your own with your current shampoo. Just get a big dollop of shampoo, put it in a bottle or something. And then you wanna take like, I don't know, one fourth of a teaspoon or a full teaspoon if you want it really, really clean, and mix it in with your shampoo and wash your hair like you normally would. If you don't have baking soda, you can also use a little bit of vodka mixed in with your shampoo. Yes, I don't know why you would have vodka but not baking soda, but hey, that might be the case for some of us. And I don't know about you, but for me, this makes my hair instantly go back to bouncy. Sometimes I'm out and about, here comes the weather. Well, guess what? My hair versus the weather, my hair always loses. But what I like to do is like to keep some clear eyebrow gel in my purse because not only can you use it for your brows, of course, but you can also use it to like tame the flyaways, smooth your hair down, the parts that kind of come undone throughout the day. And this works so good. It's like carrying around a can of hairspray in a comb, except for it's not. It's just a little baby tube that fits in your purse. Now, if you have curly hair, you probably experienced sometimes a curl just dies on you, a curl casualty. You might want to cut it, maybe you should. If you don't want to, don't go towards that curling wand. Here's what you can do. Here's what I like to do, actually, is I get some tin foil. You can use a roller, but I prefer tin foil because I have more control, and it's super lightweight. Anyways, I fold my tin foil into like my own flat little roller, just like this, or you can roll one if you want it to be more like cylinder shaped. Afterwards, just take the hair that won't curl up anymore and wrap it around the foil and fold the ends up. This way it holds. Then I go do my makeup or something that's gonna take me 30 minutes to an hour, then when I come back and unwrap my hair, it's a perfect curl. It came back to life without needing to use any heat or anything on it. And the cool thing is you can actually save these and use them again later. Here's a trick that I think is so cool for some reason. Okay, if you are really bad at braiding, like just not coordinated at all, or if you're just looking for a new way to braid, a really easy thing that you can do is take your hair and split it into two pieces. Afterwards, with one piece, you wanna stick your fingers in and create a little loop opening. And with your fingers, you wanna grab the second chunk of hair and pull it through the loop, okay? And then you wanna continue doing that all the way down till you get to the very end of your hair and you have this really cool braid. I mean, it looks almost like, you know, your standard braid, just slightly different and really, really pretty. I love this. 
Another trick that I do for a lot of volume, because I'm a sucker for volume, I can't help it. So I never blow dry my hair in the direction that I'm gonna wear it in. So if I'm gonna wear it right, then I blow dry it left. If I'm gonna wear it left, I blow dry it right. My favorite is to blow dry it upside down because then my roots blow dry upwards, which will lift them upwards, which will give me more volume. A tip that I've sworn by for years, I'm gonna always say this, after I detangle my hair when I get out of the shower, I go ahead and I take a water bottle and I re-wet my hair, and I mean soak my hair. This is gonna take my brushed out curls and it's gonna bring them all back together. And then when I scrunch and blow dry, they come out really defined, thick curls that look like curls in a commercial, okay? Shiny, thick, ugh. I don't do my hair curly without doing this step. So if you're not doing it, give it a shot. One thing I like to do, especially when I'm going to blow dry my hair straight, is I do not condition my roots. I shampoo my hair, and then I only condition the bottom half of my hair. And the reason why I do this is because number one, it's gonna give me more volume because the roots aren't gonna be weighed downwards. And number two, my roots are gonna be a lot cleaner, so my blowout is gonna last a lot longer because my roots won't get oily as fast. And that's it, thumbs up this video, you guys, if I helped at all, or if you guys want more videos like this, and comment down below if you have any other requests, and I will see you guys very soon. I love you so, 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 so much. Bye.